There's a lot more to meat hooking than just pulling yourself closer to your target. A tool that can be used to close the gap between you and the opponent, or to get out of sticky situations. With the upcoming DLC, said by the big man himself, will test the player's ability against the demons and the environment. For a console slayer to succeed in any situation, they must first master the skills of meat hooking. He's nice. The basics are fairly simple. You latch onto the opponent and just shoot them dead. That's how you use the meat hook. However, because of its other properties, it's a little more versatile than that. A way most slayers commonly use the meat hook in battle mode and in campaign is flinging off the latched opponent rather than killing said demon. When flinging yourself, you increase the speed and can travel much farther and quicker across the environment. Flinging yourself off a floating demon could even let you skip certain areas in the campaign instead of going through the intended route the game wants you to. However, due to the id tech engine, the only way to achieve insane speeds is by having a higher frame rate. The higher the frame rate, the faster you'll go. Unfortunately, the console version is locked at 60 frames per second. While you can achieve great speeds, you won't be able to achieve speeds that are possible on PC. When mastered, it becomes a resourceful tool for any slayer to aid themselves in any messy situation they may find themselves in. To perform the meat hook swing, simply latch onto the demon, hold either left or right, and as you approach the side of the demon just before the hook detaches, hold forward. You'll fling off them and be sent flying forward at an increased speed. For better results, jump once before latching onto the demon and then perform the swing. You'll be at a more elevated height and travel a lot further without hitting the ground. And if you do hit the ground, simply bunny hop to maintain the speed. As I mentioned before, the meat hook isn't always about the fast paced flings or getting extra armor and health from a fodder. It can be used as a life saving tool when pinned around countless demons and player demons. Remember those cacos I mentioned? Up in the air, lurking about, they're always in the air, slowly approaching you. But what makes them so special besides treating them to a grenade? Think about Tarzan, swinging from vines connected to a tree up in the air. Get the picture? Good. When cornered, simply dashing or jumping around the demons won't help. They'll just keep pushing you back. But for Kakos, you can latch onto them and propel yourself up in the air away from danger. Meat hook swings on cacos are a bit tricky. You have to hold either left or right to swing around them. Otherwise, if you move beside them, you run the risk of bumping into them, halting your momentum, and having to deal with its bites. From there, you can either gather some resources or simply rain hell from above. It's up to you. Sometimes it doesn't have to be a caco. It could even be an imp just sitting on the edge that could be used to pull yourself out of the demonic mosh pit. So, you can meet hook swing, both for speed and to get out of messy situations. But what about hook jumping? He's nice. Essentially, hook jumping is where you jump as you're latched onto a demon. You simply break the chain and propel yourself upwards a bit. The best part about this is you can double jump immediately afterwards. It's a great tool for reaching high places much quicker, or even stalling yourself in the air for a bit to shoot at the demons below you. You can even use it to climb over a wall much quicker and catch the player demon by surprise. When all said is done, and you've fine-tuned your meat hooking skills, you'll be able to use it effortlessly and be a step closer to becoming a great slayer on console.
like this video, then give it a thumbs up. I plan on making more Console Slayer videos that won't take a couple months to make. So feel free to subscribe if you want to see more. And if I helped you out, be sure to let me know down in the comment section below. Also, I recently got Doom Eternal for PC. So if you want to see a Console Slayer tackle Doom differently, check me out on Twitch. I post on my social medias whenever I go live, so check me out there as well. But until next time, keep slaying.